If you're like me, you keep a list of good books or movies you've read or watched. I keep mine on a Notion page, and it looks like this. It's got a toggle list for books, documentaries, and films, and then I list the individual items beneath each category. But since it's October and it's Halloween season, today I'll be turning my Notion reading list into a website that looks like Netflix. First, let's convert our Notion doc into a table format so we can group and categorize more easily. I'm going to create a few columns here. We've got the default name column, but we also want a type column and an author, genre, and cover column. I'll fill this in quickly. This is what the table looks like filled. Now, we're going to go to typedream.com to build our Netflix-like site. Let's log into the editor. We're going to build this in dark mode. As you can see, it's already turned on for my site, but if you haven't already, click on the toggle in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Start by dragging out the spacer block that's there by default. Then, let's create a heading to and type what are you looking for and center that. Next, we're going to create three columns, like so. And in each of these three columns, we'll have a container which will turn into cards. Pull the side handles to make sure they're square. Underneath each container, we're going to write out our choices, a book, a documentary, or a film. Pop in some pictures too. Then we create a button that says surprise me for a random recommendation. Black text on white background with a nice shuffle icon. Center the button as well. One thing we should do is to add a spacer element inside of each of these three containers. These containers auto adjust their height based on the stuff inside them, so if there's nothing, they might turn out a little flat. This next section is where we'll recommend a random book or show to whoever presses the surprise me button. So create a container, stretch it to max width, turn off auto adjust for height. Here we're going to say you should try XYZ and you can change this seasonally. Change the text style to title, and we'll make it pop. For the title of the book, we'll set a custom gradient for text. Let's jump over to Figma real quick, press F to create a frame, click and drag. I'm going to create an orangey gradient. Then go to the inspect tab and copy the code for the gradient, paste it in the custom text color box, and type dream. Now the title becomes emphasized. Add a button, white on black, type add to my list, then add another button, black on white, that says tell me more about it. For the add to my list button, I'm going to link it to an Amazon link so people can put it in their baskets. For the second link, you might want to link it to an article that discusses a little more about the book. Now, I'm going to link the section to the surprise me button at the top of the page by creating an embed block. Type slash embed and in the code tab, create a div. I call this div recommend, so in the button, I'll link it to hashtag recommend. This makes it so that it jumps to the section when clicked. We're in the final stretch, but arguably the most important part of our site, which is how to put all our recommendations nicely onto the page. For this, we'll use the CMS feature. Type slash collection, select the collection template. Since our last video about CMS, things have kind of changed with regards to how you add the TypeDream integration on Notion. Now, what you have to do is click on the three dots, click add connections, and search for TypeDream. Once connected, you'll see the table pop up in the menu. Select it, then choose a collection view template and an item page template. You can check out our other video, which I'll link below, to learn more about the ins and outs of a CMS collection. 
We want the visitor to easily be able to filter through categories, so go to Edit Collection, Sort and Filter, and create a filter tab for visitors. We're filtering by type here. And this is what the collection looks like after it's done. And there we have it, a reading list with a Netflix-inspired look.